what is up guys so here today I'm gonna to show you guys how to go from uh, this console right here this roof console which is a 96 through 98 to this one which is a 99 through 2 and it has a it's supposed to have like a sunroof I mean a sunglass holder right there but I just misplaced it for now uh, take this off to install it but uh, I'm sure you how to do all the wiring for it because it's a little complicated it's not too complicated really it's not but it's just a little different from this style to uh, this style connector but I'm gonna show you how guys uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that so just bear with me all right so what you're gonna want to do is uh, again ignore all this stuff I'm sorry, I, I already cut it. Um, I just wanted to make sure I'm giving you guys the right information. I haven't seen a write-up on this on YouTube, so I'm just kind of, you know, doing what I can. Uh, so this connector is going to have a relay that it hooks up to that's in there. So it's just going to be sitting in there like that, maybe a little further down. But anyways, you're going to take this connector and you're going to start cutting uh basically you're going to cut the let's see if i can get a better angle i apologize if this is really crappy it probably is but i'm trying uh you got this white with red stripe you're going to cut the solid blue wire and you're going to cut the white i'm sorry the black with white stripe I accidentally cut this green one, so you don't need that, so just ignore that. And then uh, you're going to go ahead and pull this out. This is for the sunroof motor plug. You're going to cut this 20 gauge white with black. And then on your old sunroof switch connector, which is this one right here, you're going to cut the white with black 20 gauge. All right, so you're gonna to want to take your uh, your new harness, which is this is a '99 uh, and 2002 harness roof console harness. You're gonna to want to take the blue connector, and you're gonna to want to hook up this white with black. I don't know if you can see it in here. White with black. And this is gonna be a 16 gauge. It's gonna be a thicker wire of them all. There's another one on here that's that's a six that's a 20 gauge. You're gonna to want to take the 16 gauge and hook it up to the uh, basically the the wire that was hooked up to here. You're gonna cut it and then you're gonna hook up to the other 16 gauge white with black stripe. So relay and then the blue connector you're going to want to take the white with black stripe 20 gauge wire and hook it up to the white with black stripe 20 gauge I mean I'm sorry 16 gauge let's restart that you're going to want to take the relay uh, connector switch and use the 16 gauge white with black stripe and you're gonna hook it up to you're gonna cut this obviously sorry about all this this is horrible okay you're gonna cut this 16 gauge white with black stripe and you're gonna hook it up to the white with black stripe on the blue connector on your new harness you're just gonna splice them I'm gonna, uh, I got some heat shrink up here. I'm just gonna slide it over it. Alright, so I taped it up and uh, I used some heat shrink for it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, since I have everything cut pretty much, I'm just gonna tuck all these old uh, harnesses away just so it doesn't get confusing. 
I mean, it's not really confusing, just so it doesn't get all in the way. I'm just gonna tuck them up and out of the way for now. Okay, so we're only working on uh, basically the wires for the relay right now, which is uh, basically just two of them. Next is gonna be this blue with red stripe. And you're gonna hook it up to, remember this is already cut off the relay, off the relay connector. You're gonna hook it up to the white with red stripe. Again, the 16 gauge, 16 gauge, blue with red stripe, 16 gauge, white with red stripe. You're just gonna, same thing. All right, so again, blue harness, blue connector from your new harness, blue with red stripe goes to the uh, relay connector with the, uh, I'm sorry if there's too much light in here guys, I'm really trying, uh, white with red stripe. Just gonna wanna hook them up like that. All right, so next one is this blue with yellow stripe. It's a, six, it's a 20 gauge wire. And this is gonna be for the uh, map lights for your um, for your roof console. You're gonna take the, this, uh, this usually has a connector on it. Mine got damaged whenever I took it out of my old 4Runner. It was, it was in rollover, so the connector didn't work. But this is the wire for the map lights on your old uh, old style console, which I think I'm pretty sure goes to the rear view mirror. So you're gonna take that blue with yellow, and it's probably gonna be the only one, and you're gonna hook it up to this blue connector, blue with yellow stripe, and you're just gonna hook them together. All right, that's the map light. Blue with yellow and blue with yellow. All right, so this next one, don't let it confuse you. You just gotta remember, you're going from this switch, this is the connector for the new switch, and this is the connector for the old switch. And you're just gonna run uh, the white with black and the white with black off of that one, which is uh, it's this one, but I already cut it. So, remember, both switches, White with black stripe, white with black stripe, 20 gauge, small wiring. You're just gonna splice those two together. All right, there it is. White with black stripe, white with black stripe for both switches. This is the new switch connector for the new roof console. And this is the old one. You just take the white with black stripe white with black stripe, make sure it's this, this the thinner one, the, tw the the 20 gauge. Make sure it's the thinner one and just hook those two up. So that was just two switches. I know it looks confusing, but that's it. Next one is gonna be the two, um, it's gonna be the uh, white with black stripe on the, uh, the new harness just gonna plug up to the sunroof motor so you're gonna take that white with black stripe and you're gonna take the skinny wire they're both the skinnier wires off the old plug off the old sunroof motor plug I'm just gonna take the white with black stripe same thing on this white with black stripe and you're just gonna splice them all right so back where we left off this is the old this is the old connector this is your new connector with the blue harness sorry blue harness new connector I ran out of heat shrink tubing so that I'll just have to do for now I just taped it electrical taped it and uh, you should be able to just plug it in 
plug in your new roof console. All right, so I plugged it in, and uh, I know mine's missing the uh, sunroof or sunglass holder. I'm sorry, and that trim that goes there. I have it. I just don't have it in this video or installed. Uh, but lights work. Both lights work. Sunroof tilts. Bring it down. And I can open it. I can let go of it now. And it'll keep opening. So yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Leave a like. I'm sorry about the horrible quality, but uh, I'm just trying to help anybody that wants to do this same mod. It's the uh, pretty convenient it'll have the sunglass holder instead of the little card holder uh, and uh, another thing is you don't have to hold this switch now I don't know if you I don't remember if I had to hold mine to open mine but I can just uh, I think I could just hold it once or hold it for a second let's try that yeah I can just let go and it'll open. I don't know if the uh, 96 through 98 does that, but anyways, I'm just going to get this all cleaned up and uh, get it ready to install. But anyways, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me. Uh, sorry for the horrible install video, but <laughs> if anybody needs any help, just let me know. I appreciate it, man. Uh, you guys take care. Leave a like. Subscribe if you want. Thank you. All right, so once you clean up the harness, this is what you're going to be left with. Just very clean and simple. Not a whole bunch of rat's nest wiring.